what's good everybody it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk a few days ago about a week ago popular actress Taraji P Henson stopped by it appears to be Angie Martinez's podcast and of course Taraji P. Henson, who is now in her 50s, I believe not so long ago, she lost her son, her only son. Um, and I like I like her. She's an awesome actress. But I also like her because she's real. Okay? And I know that some brothers um, and people have been some, somewhat making fun of her for breaking down on the podcast. And I'm going to play um, this clip courtesy of Pink Book Lessons um, right now about what she had to say about being strong and independent. I'm proud of myself. Mm -hmm. I feel very proud to be able to look in the camera and say, I'm not that strong. Like, mm -hmm. I'm fighting for my joy every day. It's a fight. Every day is a f I feel like I'm fighting for my life, mm -hmm. you know? Because I feel like so many people look up and they're counting on me. You know what I mean? I don't feel like no hero. I'm not a f hero. Like I'm not. I'm not perfect. I'm somebody who. I'm a human. I'm flawed. I'm trying to figure this thing out every day. So, guys, you heard what she had to say. Let me let me say this, okay? In being a little older, at 41, going on 42. You know, I understand. Um, how how some of the sisters come up because I went to college with them. Um, you know, I, I know that a lot of black people, we we grow up and men and women, we are looking at trying to make something out of ourselves to take care of our people. And a lot of times when we look at let's say getting married, that's besides the point, right? That's slowing down progress. Okay. And that happens for a lot of the uh the women. Now the men we don't get a lot of help, but of course, men have that, you know, God gave us that natural tenacity to be able to handle a heavy burden, more or less than what God gave women. I'm not saying that women can't do that, but men typically handle that sort of thing much better. We work on average longer hours. We can take more risks. It's just in our nature. But the breakdown of what you're seeing is what society tells. I'm gonna be real, black women in particular, that you can do it all by yourself. And then women get out there, let's say for example, you don't get married. And we gotta be honest here as black men, women need a lot of help, guys. Um, that's something that I have really figured out. Women need a lot of support. Kids need a lot of support. And if you don't have a sacrifice from a man to provide that for women, it's not gonna work. Look at black America. And I mean, I know a lot of guys don't feel like it's worth it to do that. And I get it. But the outcome of that is you get safer communities. You get better performing kids. You get a better people. And a lot of women, even if they are successful, they don't be happy because a woman has to always be in the masculine, can't really be herself, can't be nurturing can't be a loving and then as you get older the the phone which is gonna be real the phone don't ring as much now for men i mean obviously you know i'm not as good looking as i was when i was you know 26 because I, I was 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 you know i was looking good then but you know as a man if you keep doing what you're supposed to do you can be more selective as you get older because the opportunities are going to be the near you can start to say you know what i don't even want to date nobody 23 no more they too young for me, 30 and up. That's what I can deal with. Cause as a man, you got that opportunity. You know, you, what, what you want to date them? You, they're gonna be black, white, as long as you keep yourself together. And as a man, you don't need a woman taking care of you. You're gonna have opportunities. You can swing the bat. That's the, that's the way God made our biology operate. But women don't have that sort of opportunity. And women, you know, when they're out here trying to, um, you know, when they get when they get married and they're 50 something years old and they want a man on their level and you know let's say in the 30s 20s 
they have more opportunities. But when, you know, when you get to Taraji G. P. P. Henson's age, it don't work like that. Guys who are 52 are not standing in the gap saying, you know what, Taraji, I really want to be with you and not be with somebody that's 30 or 31 or 35. Men, men typically don't think like that. Now, she's beautiful for sure. But, you know, we're not dealing with if she's beautiful or not. What we're dealing with is the kind of man that she wants is likely gone. And, and again, that's why she, you know, because these women are not taught to be on anything with a man. A lot of black women are taught to do it by themselves. And, 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 and like a lot of men in these days are taught to the opposite. Look, don't take care of her. You know, when I was coming up, the, the, the training from the, 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 the elders was you need to be somebody, you need to get married. You need to get married to a woman that's black. You need to do something for your people and you need to give back to the black community and to your church. That's how my parents and grandparents raised me. Now, I don't think that's the norm. I think the norm is, okay, you make sure you can take care of yourself. If you get married or whatever, it's okay. And, and women are being taught even in that era. Look, you know, you can't depend on no man. Make sure you have your own stuff. Vice versa, all of that. That's what's being happening now. You know, that's what's happening right now. And as women get older, what 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 what, what what's going to happen? What will happen to them? What will happen to these women as time goes along? They see it's all a sham. Men are the biggest outside of women being for themselves. The best thing that a woman can do if she gets a decent husband, it's the best gift she can get. A husband that's going to be out there. That's going to be doing the work, building the family, sacrificing. Women need that. Women need communities, man. I don't care how rich you are. That nothing is, 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 is better than the raw strength and organization of men. Nothing. I've seen it even when I was in Ukraine. I talk about it all the time. I saw these Turkish guys coming into Ukraine. And I saw the respect Ukrainian women have for them. You know, they came out there, they was working, um, and, and they was doing their thing. Same thing with Polish men. I see it with Hispanic men. And and, and now, I, you know, I saw it with LifeSale. That was the uh, company that they had there uh, in Ukraine. I've seen guys come in and build communities for the women. You see it in Kenya. Go to Kenya and go to any any mall, high-end mall, Two Rivers, or if you go to um, Westgate, you're going to see those Somali men taking care of the women. Go to, go to, go to Dubai. Emirati men. Every functional society has that. And when women don't get that, they think that it's okay until they find out that it's not okay. But guys, what you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. Another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out.